in lesson one, we're going to begin learning about the word interface. We're going to learn how to start Microsoft Word. We'll learn about the title bar, the maximize and minimize buttons, the close button, and the office button. Let's get started today by opening Microsoft Word. I'll come down and click on my start button. Next, I'll click on All Programs, then Microsoft Office, then find Microsoft Office Word 2007, and click on it to open up Microsoft Word. And now you can see Microsoft Word is running. Now, at first glance, it looks like there's a ton of different buttons and options and menus. Don't let them confuse you. The Microsoft Word interface can sometimes be a little daunting, but don't worry, I'm going to show you just the features that you need today to be productive with Word. Now before we start actually doing stuff in Word, let's take a few minutes to go over the parts of the interface so you know what you're looking at on the screen. The first thing that I want to mention is the menus that you see on your screen might be slightly different from what you see on my screen. And that's because this big menu interface here called the ribbon that we're going to talk about in a few minutes will change depending on the size of your screen and the size of your Microsoft Word window. For example, if I make my window larger, you can see the ribbon is changing. So the button placements might be slightly different on your screen than on mine. Don't worry about it, however, because once you get used to where everything is, the ribbon's pretty easy to use. Across the very top of the Microsoft Word window, you'll see the title bar. Right now, my title bar says Document 1, Microsoft Word. Later on, when we learn how to save our files, your file name will go right here instead of Document 1. In the upper right corner of our window, we have our standard Minimize, Maximize, and Close buttons that are standard on pretty much every Windows application. As a review from our Windows Basics class, if I click on the Minimize button, that'll take Microsoft Word and put it down on my taskbar. Now you can see Document 1, Microsoft Word, is down on my taskbar on the bottom of the screen. If I move my mouse over Document 1, you can see it lights up in the taskbar, and I get a little preview window of my Word document. Simply click there on the taskbar to open Word back up to a normal sized window. And now we're back to a normal sized window. If you'd like to take that window and fill the entire screen with it, click on the Maximize button. And now my Word window fills the entire screen and you can see lots of different new stuff on the ribbon pops up here. I'll now click on the Maximize button, which has become the Restore Down button, to bring Word back down to a normal sized window. And of course, the Close button is what we we'll use to actually exit Microsoft Word when we're all done with it for the day. Over in the upper left corner, we have the new Office button. The Office button is where we'll go to do things like save our document, open a new document, print our document, and so on. There's new, open, save, print, and we'll talk about a lot of these functions as we go on. For those of you who have used previous versions of Microsoft Word, the Office button takes the place of the old file menu item. 